So I strongly suggest you check the Google listing under your business under the Google AI platform, as well as ChatGPT, and make sure that the information that it is providing to your potential clients is accurate because there could be a very good chance it is not providing full detailed information about your business and you might be losing leads. So I'm going to show you how you can easily fix this by just following these couple of steps. But before I do so, let me introduce myself. My name is Chris. I'm the head game coordinator for a company called Cash Hunt. We have been producing premium scavenger hunt game experiences for 25 plus years. But my job with these videos is just to provide you with some information and insight in regards to the rapidly paced world of marketing uh, that we are currently going through in real time. So look at, let's get to it. When you're trying to find some information, you know, traditionally you would go onto Google, you know, in regards to how to's or what ifs and, or just learning about a business. And immediately what you would see is on top sponsored links, as far as people that have companies that are buying ads. And then underneath that, the listings. Now, though, what you'll notice at the very top is a Google AI answer. All right. So this is what I want you to do. If you happen to have a business, I want you to type up your business. And ultimately, at the very top, you'll see the response from Google AI. I want you to read it thoroughly and make sure that the service or the product that you provide is accurate. There could be a very slight chance that it is not. And by you know, not providing the correct information, you know, via AI might lead your customer to the next company and you probably will have lost the lead. So the key thing I want you to do is number one, if you have a website, if you are the web designer or is, you know, it's another company, I want you to make sure at least your front page is very accurate, but not too much word soup, really to the point of what it is that you do and in a minimalistic type of way, because that is what the AI, such as Gemini and Google AI and ChatGPT and you name it, is looking at. It's, you know, spidering through. It is not spidering through keywords. It's just kind of saying, all right, what is it that you do? And this is what I'm going to give out to, to people. The key thing is if you put too much word soup on your website, well, quite honestly, it's going to confuse the AI. And quite honestly, it will probably provide the wrong information. So. How do you correct this? You can correct this in two ways. Number one, specifically Google. Google has um, a, a form of chat GPT, which is called Gemini. It is crazy. It is a new version of a business consultant. And the factor of it is, is that it is a direct uh, real-time conversation with Google. You're talking to an AI bot, it is in the conversational uh, way of doing things. And I want you to ask it specific questions and say like, you know, tell me about my business, fill in the blank. And then it will tell you about your business. And I want you to listen to it. And I want you then to ask it after it provides you a based description about your business, give me more details about that business. And it'll provide you even more detail. Now, let's just say you happen to hear something that is not accurate. Now, I'm going to bring you a little bit into my world. Now, again, we do scavenger hunts. Our scavenger hunts now apply an app and this physical materials. Now, when I did that to my business, I listened to it and it indicated that what my business provides is all the different types of things. However, it did. It only indicated that it is an app business where we also provide physical premium materials. So I'm like, okay, that's not correct. So then I say, can you change that and indicate that that business also provides physical materials to the client? And the response is, thank you for that information. I must have not misread it. I will now provide that information into the listing. So that now also applies to your business. So if you happen to have a gift shop and it is, a, I don't know, a wedding shop and you provide, you know, guest books and uh, flowers and, um, you know, favors and all that type of stuff. And it lists out what you offer in your wedding shop, but it does not list out that you offer guest books. Well, you would go to Google Gemini. It's very easy. It's free. And you would simply ask it, can you also indicate that my wedding shop also uh, provides guest books? 
and it will make that correction. When you do that, then that information gets thrown into the Google AI. And when people type in um, something about your business or whatever the case might be, it will provide the correct information. Now, the other thing is you can also find out, like, you know, you could say, you know, what are the 10 top 10 plumbers in the area? And the key thing about it is that it'll provide you with, you know, the 10 top uh, plumbers um, in the 20 mile vicinity. And let's say number one is Paul's Plumbing and you happen to be Paul's Plumbing. And it tells uh, you say, all right, great. Uh, I want to learn about number one, Paul's Plumbing. Tell me about that business. And it will provide you with that information. And let me listen to reviews. Okay, so let's say you're Paul's Plumbing. It's like it'll provide you with um, Yelp reviews. Fantastic. But let's say you also have Google reviews. Um, and so is there any other form of Google reviews? I mean, excuse me, any other form of reviews? And they say, no. Keep aware that Paul's Plumbing also has Google reviews. Can you implement that in? Yes, I will. You kind of get the drift. So the days of search are pretty much changed pretty much forever in regards to AI. So after this video, go on to a Google AI and just type in information about your business and make sure it is accurate. If it's not, just indicate through a, uh, a Google bot, as far as the AI bot or chat GPT bot or whatever, and make sure it provides the accurate information that you provide as far as your services or product. And again, simplify, be more detailed in regards to your website. The days of it searching just for keywords are slowly coming to an end, if not rapidly. It is going by the whole base of what it is that your website is um, providing, okay? So that's it. Good luck. Keep on studying, guys. That's all I'm going to keep on telling you. Keep on studying. Keep on watching these videos. And always in this good old YouTube world, if you like, subscribe, like, have a comment below, write it down, and uh, hit the box for our next video, whatever that might be. Thanks so much, guys, and let's play.